Hey guys, this is Chad with Take One Filming Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and today we're going to be talking about how you can broadcast remotely using SRT. So let's get into it. Well, today I've got my good friend John Ballinger from Panasonic back with us. John, how's it going, man? Hey, Chad, doing great. Great to see you as always. Me. And I'm excited to talk about SRT. And of course, you brought some cool toys that are going to highlight the SRT. But let's talk about what SRT is, right? It stands for Secure Reliable Transport. Transport. Uh, which kind of sounds like a marketing term for a, a bus company, but it's not. It's uh, it's a um, it's a transport. It's a protocol for moving video over the public internet. Okay. So it enables you to have a secure feed over the public internet, and in from point you know, to point. Okay, which is really important because you know we're we're coming out of a uh, the COVID world in 2020, and and people needed to be able to. Um, you know, do their work from home. So whether you're like a, a news correspondent or interview, uh, whatever, when people need to be isolated, quarantined, or just work remotely, uh, we've been trying to figure out how do we um, effectively and, and maintaining good quality broadcast from, from those locations. And there's been a lot of creative ways, but SRT is, um, has been a really great solution because you can just use your home internet. You don't have to have some sort of crazy you know, uh, fiber feed or anything like that. You Correct. just you just use your normal internet. Correct. I mean, no, not everybody has fiber or any kind of a uplink or downlink, and so this does enable you to do a broadcast over the over the public internet. Well, and, and it's you. We have a great example of that today because you've got this setup here, and uh, so we're in Nashville, Tennessee, and at the the Panasonic uh, headquarters up in New Jersey, they've got a UE one fifty. Yep. And, uh, and and this set here, so we're actually looking at the studios there in New Jersey, but even more so, we have the um, RP-150, we, we can control it. And I mean, I can sit here and, you know, pan around and move it. Uh, earlier today, we were uh, getting into the menus and, and playing with the camera. So I, I'm sitting here controlling this camera from New Jersey, and it looks really good. I've got a 1080p signal coming back here. I think it's H.264, I think it's what yep. we're doing. Yep. Um, but I mean, this is this is the solution that so many people are looking for, um, and you know, to move SRT back and forth, we've got encoders, uh, decoders. You've got third-party uh, high vision. I think came up with SRT. You've got other companies Matrox. like Matrox, Everts, uh, and, and others that I've seen too. A lot of people are developing products for SRT. But Panasonic's done something cooler. I mean, you've been able to uh, develop your products so that you don't even need those encoders. So tell Correct. us about that. Well, we have a, our new switcher. Uh, the Kairos is a uh, server-based switcher, uh, not, not hardware-based, uh, and processes natively in SMPTE 2110, but it can also receive and um, send SRT feeds, uh, as well as NDI. And you've got some uh, cameras here that we're going to talk about in another video. We'll talk a little bit about more of those and some of your product lines that will do this. But I mean, this is a great example. And again, we just set it up here in our office and it's just really, really simple to do. So if you're looking for a solution to be able to remotely broadcast, then maybe SRT could help. So if you want to give us a call, we'd be happy to talk to you more about that and learn more about some of the products that Panasonic offers uh, for SRT as well. So give us a call, 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also reach us at mail at take1.tv. Well, John, thanks a lot. We still got more stuff to talk about. Absolutely. Let's do it. Thank you, Chad. Thank you.